Hello from the bridge of the Hears to us. We are at Port Huron Yacht Club in Port Huron, Michigan. It's been a lovely four days here getting to explore the town. Uh, there's a couple bridges up river and a couple more marinas up river and so we've enjoyed watching all the different boats go in and out here. Got to meet some great people. Uh, Port Huron is really a neat city and you can kind of see it is uh, making a valiant attempt to come back after the pandemic just neat places around here and just wonderful people ate at some great restaurants and just had a great time um, the wind today is just out of the kind of northwest at about four knots um, we're sitting in 14 feet of water here at the Yacht Club, so no problem with the depth. And we're just going to do a 180 out of here and get <clears throat> into the St. Clair River and go north into our first dip this loop into Lake Huron. It's a distance of about 33 miles going up to Port Sanilac, so uh, kind of a laid back cruise this morning. I'm going to look at some scenery and do some advanced planning for the next week and see where it takes us. Uh, a little bit of a weather system maybe coming in later. So we'll just kind of go with the flow. So I'm ready to go. We had such a great time here at Port Huron Yacht Club. The people at the club were fantastic and uh, shout out to Nicole and Brad for letting us use their car and go to Walmart to provision. That was over and above the call. So anyway, thank you to Brad and Nicole. Also shout out to Chris and David who came to visit us. You're looking good, Sammy. All the way around, yeah. Okay, keep going forward. Grace, Sam is in the middle of getting us out of here and doing a fantastic job as always. We had to put a lot of lines and fenders out because of the weather that happened when we were here. So I'll go out and get those fenders a little later. But back to uh, Chris and David. Thanks so much for coming aboard and had a really great visit with you. And thank you for the sweet gifts. The Port Huron uh, Yacht Club, fantastic place. It's right here. If you remember when we were coming in, there is a bridge that stays open all the time. over here. It's kind of hard to see. It's sense in my eyes. Was that note to you, Sam? Okay. We can hear some chatter on the radio. It said uh, they were advising a captain that they are on channel 9. I put the VH, VHF radio on 9 and Sam keeps the other uh, radio on 16. We are headed out here. That's that, um, it's, it's such a great observatory. It's a museum as well, a maritime museum as well as a um, observatory. You just sit out in there and watch the, watch the boats go by. All those white tents, that was a giant uh, farmer's market that we went to yesterday. And that was really a, a treat. Check out that Coast Guard ship over there. Yeah, I guess that must be an icebreaker or something. Uh, Ooh. Whatever it is, a pretty big ship. Yay, Coast Guard. Yeah. We're rooting for you. All right, coming up on the Blue Water Bridge and uh, just a couple more miles to go until we hit our third Great Lake. This loop, which will be a lake here on. That is the Blue Water Bridge, which connects Port Huron, Michigan, where we were for a few days, to Sarnia in Canada. I believe it's the province of Ontario. Ontario is huge. It is. 
think we stayed in that the entire loop in, uh, when we went through Canada in yep. 2019. Mm -hmm. Staying in the water. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today, hopefully out on Lake Huron. All the wind forecast had not much more than about 10 knots of wind and much less than uh, a foot of waves out there. So we'll know soon as we get uh, beyond the Blue Water Bridge. Well, we started getting shoved around a little bit. It's weird here by this Blue Water Bridge. See a lot of waves over there? Sam said that's because of the current. This right in front of us looks beautiful and calm. I guess we should stick right here. What do you think? Yeah, that's, it. that's <laughs> what the note says. Oh. The current on the Canadian side going out here is a lot less. I can tell my speed picked up for the same RPM that I'm running. And, and where where did you learn that? We also have uh, what well, was on the notes in uh, Navionics. Okay. Tells you when you zoom in onto a, a particular icon or bridge and try to get more information, it'll give you uh, tips like that. And obviously you can see it out there as the water rushes in. But looking ahead on Lake uh, Huron out there looks pretty docile to me. A number of fishing boats out there already and we saw a couple freighters that were uh, exiting and uh, are ahead of us. So who knows what their destination is. Well, there it is, Lake Huron. Port Huron has a lighthouse over there and a water tower. And it's quite busy with fishermen out so far this morning. Early bird gets the worm, you know. I see a red marker over there and a green one yep. over there. Were we going through that? Yeah, we are. So I guess that's right. Your little marker there. <laughs> Yeah, a little memory aid. This memory aid is only as good as the person, you know, switching this back and forth, so. But what we use that for <laughs> is if I have to go somewhere else on the boat and Rev is at the helm, is I make sure that that is correct before we hand off control of the boat and as well as telling her, hey, it's on autopilot, uh, our next turn point is here, and any other pertinent information so that she can take over the helm while uh, I take care of whatever I'm taking care of. I do appreciate that. Yeah. All right, we are passing a ship here on the channel. This is a channel? Yeah, we're in a channel and we were about ready to make a turn to the port after these uh, next navigational aids here. And uh, we got the Erie Trader here. No, we just kind of slow down. I don't want to blow by him too much, even though he's a bigger ship. Uh, we're going to be making a turn anyway, so. The Erie Trader. We're going to turn into that wake? Yeah, we're going to turn into that wake here. And he's doing about 12, going uh, wherever he's going. Maybe to Lake Erie, who knows? out on Lake Huron. Beautiful day out here on Lake Huron. Pretty much flat. And That's okay. not really much, put of out much of a lake. Yeah. So, here it is. Making a turn for the port up here. Pretty soon. Fire back up to a route let the uh, here's to us drive and sit back and enjoy it. Look at Lake Huron. This is the advantage of having a captain that plans meticulously, looks at different apps, 
gathers all the information smooth as it can be. This is my kind of ride. But Lake Huron is just beautiful. The color of the water, oh, breathtaking. It is an absolute beautiful day on Lake Huron. There could not be a better day. It is flat out there. We had the here's to us up on plane, cut off some of the time. I was a little concerned about getting in too early before noon if the slip was available, so I contacted the marina. They said it is open, so we're going to arrive there before noon, which will be great. We'll get tied down, just chill out, uh, probably have a nice seafood dinner early, and uh, get to bed early, because really I want to get up and be underway just as the sun comes up. The reason is, is I'm looking at the weather um, down the road and there's going to be a pretty big blow coming in like uh, oh, probably Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'd like to get underway tomorrow and our plan is to head to the next place, get in and probably settle in for a couple days, see what happens with the weather. So that's kind of the plan we'll see what happens you know i i look ahead usually a week two weeks ahead to see where the possible stops are and you can't hit every city on the loop i wish you could but we try to pick first on the weather the waves the winds and then our wishes so the four w's as i call them and uh just go from there. And I know Rev doesn't like to travel on a weekend or a holiday. Unfortunately, we're traveling on a weekend and a holiday because the weather is just beautiful. All right, about 15 to 20 minutes out from the harbor here at Port Sandalac, we have it in sight already. We can see the sailboat mast up there and the breakwater and some boats. So it's 4th of July, and so safety and Paramount going slow in there. We got some local knowledge from the marina there is coming in, so we will be uh, eating that. We also talked to them as to where slip number one is. I considered taking on some fuel, but we don't really need fuel, and the price is not that competitive. It seems like the price is trying to stable out around three and a half dollars a gallon at this point and uh, so we're not going to spend the time to fuel because it means tying up and fueling when we probably could only take on about 150 gallons at the most. All right coming into slip number one Got a little bit of wind coming from the south and we're electing to do a uh, bow in today just because of uh, it's a 60 foot slip in here and it looks like we've got plenty of room to be able to get our power cord out and around so uh, if we have to use an extension we will all right all right sounds Okay. Alright, and with all the people out here, I don't see really anybody coming in to help us, but I think Rev has got it under control out there. Okay. Alright, how are the uh how are the fenders? I 
Okay. I come up a little bit further if we need to. So. Great little port, Port Sanilac. And a shout out to Rick and Ted who came and helped tie us up. Also to Jerry and Barb for driving up from Lexington to greet us. They have been following our journey. So nice to meet them. Had a great lunch at uh, the Blue Water Tavern and a Dollar General store right across the street, which we were able to get some things that we needed. We really enjoyed the people that we met here and the places that we got to visit as well as the facilities. So all in all, this is a fantastic stop on the Great Loop.